we have already discussed you know modularity permanence and you know how how we can use modularity and permanence for disjoint community detection we have also seen the limitations right uh, so now we start uh, you know uh, to discuss techniques for overlapping community detection okay now what is overlapping communities we already discussed in overlapping communities a node can be a part of multiple communities right for example uh, if you think of this uh, as a network uh, this can be one community this can be another community this can be another community you see that this node belongs to two communities these two nodes also belong to two communities and so on okay and we also mentioned that uh, why overlapping community detection is even difficult than uh, than disjoint community detection okay because of the exponential number of possible solutions so the first technique that we will discuss is called uh, clique percolation method and this is i think this this was the first method proposed uh, i think way back 2005 by uh, palla et al and this was published in nature uh, and uh, with this method you can detect overlapping communities okay so let's see the you know the technique here so essentially let's assume that you have uh, a graph like this what you do you define uh, something called a clique of size k what is clique we know clique is a completely connected graph and uh, the size of the clique is k meaning there are k nodes okay and uh, what is the task here the task is first to identify uh, this k clicks uh, clicks of size k k clicks and then then we uh, basically club this clicks into one community we keep clubbing clicks into one com uh, community uh, and and we will detect overlapping communities okay so let us assume that k equals to 3 so we are interested to detect uh, clicks of size 3 so in this graph you know this can be a, th a click of size 3 uh, this can also be a click of size 3 so 1 2 3 1 3 4 then this one right then this one this one this one right so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are eight clicks of size 3 so the first task is to detect clicks of size 3 now k can be 4 k can be 5 it's a it's a hyper parameter you know that you can set beforehand so once you detect clicks remember click detection itself is challenging right and uh, let us assume that we have the liberty we have the you know the the resource to detect clicks and we identify clicks what's the next stage the next stage we'll see that we will choose a pair of clicks in which two uh, in which k minus nodes are common we choose a pair of clicks in which k minus one number of nodes are common so this clicks are of size k we'll choose a pair of clicks such that there are k minus nodes common in both the clicks okay so here k equals to 3 so we choose pairs of nodes pairs of clicks um, where two nodes are common so for example 1 2 3 1 3 4 you see that 1 and 2 they are common right um then uh, 2 5 6 2 5 6 and you know 5 6 7 2 nodes are common 5 and 6 so what we do so once we identify clicks we create a graph another graph where clicks are nodes so you have you have uh, eight nodes you have eight nodes and two nodes are connected meaning two clicks are connected if they share two uh, if, if they share k minus one nodes in this case if they share two nodes okay so you see that these two clicks are connected because they share two nodes 1 3 1 3 are present in both the clicks similarly 2 5 6 and 5 6 8 5 and 6 are common 5 6 8 6 7 8 you see 6 and 8 are common and so on and so forth so this is this is the graph that you can create uh, based on the clicks and their uh, their common nodes right so what does it mean it basically means that let's say 
let's say you have uh, right let's say you have structure like this and let's say k equals to 3 okay so this is one click right this is say this is c1 this is another click this is another click and this is another click okay so what do we mean by you know looking at two clicks which have uh, k minus 1 common nodes it basically means that if you think of it graphically it basically means that let us define let us define um, you know a window okay a window which basically is a template a template uh, like this a template which is basically a a, a a k size click and then i rotate the template i rotate the template so that in the during the rotation the k minus 1 nodes will remain same meaning so this is the template now i rotate the template okay then the in, in the next in, in in the second stage the template will come here because between these two stages there are two nodes common right so i rotate the template and i then you know uh, uh, capture some nodes and i group them i keep on rotating then so this is the second stage in the third stage what you do you further rotate it right using the same constraint so it will come here you again group you try rotating again but you can't rotate because now if you rotate there will be no such rotation where two nodes are common so you stop the rotation here right and the nodes that you have encountered that will form a community similarly you place this template in another such click and you rotate it so you can't rotate further so this will become a click so this is same as saying that you connect two clicks when there are there are uh, k minus 1 number of nodes common right so in the resultant graph the number of connected components are your communities so you have one connected component another connected component so you have two communities so in the first community in this community c1 you have 1 2 3 4 5 not so 1 2 3 4 four nodes 1 2 3 4 in the second uh, uh, you know this uh, in the second community you have 2 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so this is pretty simple basically the idea is that you start with a click detection method then you um, connect clicks create a network and you basically take uh, the, uh, the the uh, you know connected components as different communities and that would give you the overlapping community because you see here you know uh, which nodes are common here if, when which nodes are overlapping two node two and uh, what else only node two right yeah only node two is common overlapping so node two is basically an overlapping node you can basically get these two communities this is click percolation so first problem in click percolation is that uh, you have to fix the value of k the second problem is that you know click finding click is also computationally expensive and it is essentially a pattern matching algorithm because you are kind of trying to find out clicks trying to find out uh, click like patterns in a graph right and you are grouping them okay so next method is called link partition so what is link partition in link partition we basically create a uh, from a from a normal graph we create a dual graph what's a dual graph in a dual graph the no, the edges in the original graph will form nodes in the dual graph okay let's take an example so this is your original graph and you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 edges in the dual graph you will have eight nodes right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right 
you see one two so this edge is this node right two three this edge is this node so this is called dual graph sometimes this is also called line graph but this is basically dual graph and then what you do you uh, in 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 this dual graph how do you connect nodes you basically connect two nodes right based on the original structure so let's say uh this these are two edges e i k and e j k these are two edges in the original graph so therefore these are two nodes in the dual graph so the the similarity between two these two nodes will be computed by by the neighborhood intersection meaning that now what are these two nodes right think about it uh, so these two edges you have i k and j e i k e k j right so so essentially you have uh, these two nodes i and j and k is a common node so what i will see i will see the neighborhood of i and the neighborhood of j okay and i will basically take the jacquard coefficient intersection of neighborhood of i and intersection of neighborhood of j in the actual graph g intersection of the neighborhood of i and j and the union of neighborhood of i and j and that's the similarity right and i use this similarity score as the weight in the in the dual graph where i have e i k as a node and e j k as a node and then you connect it and the weight would be the similarity of e i k and e j k that you derive from the original graph right so this is the graph structure now in the resultant graph in the dual graph you run any disjoint commutative detection algorithm you can run leuven you can run run uh, uh, max perm you can run fast greedy what it would do it would basically group these nodes right so if you group say for example if you group this five nodes together and these three nodes together right in the dual graph now you unfold it so in the original graph what would happen so let us see what are the nodes which have been covered in this community in this community you will have 1 2 right 3 and 4 in this community we have 4 5 and 6 okay so these are the overlapping communities in the original graph you see that this node 4 is basically overlapping right so what we have done we have constructed a new graph called line graph or dual graph on the dual graph you uh, uh, run a disjoint commutation algorithm you group nodes that would in turn group edges in the original graph right and then you unfold it this is uh, you know a link part partitioning method for for um, for community for overlapping commutative detection okay so we will discuss in the next uh, lecture we will discuss b clam now b clam is, is so far i think uh, one of the sophisticated methods for overlapping commutative detection and this is also uh, i would say this is also a, a new paradigm of algorithms which talk about generative methods for uh, commutative detection so b clam uh, is a generative method for overlapping commutative detection in the next lecture we will discuss b clam thank you mm -hmm.